Hello everybody, this is Drew with Yakusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. Got some uh, nice coins in today, and I wanted to film it for you guys. So, let's cut this open and uh, show you exactly what we have. Alright, so first off, uh, the first coin that we have is this 1893S graded AG3. Uh, it's a beautiful coin. Uh, the lowest minted business strike uh, of the Morgan series. Um, here's the reverse of it. But it's a really beat coin, but anybody that uh, collects Morgans would know this is an extremely rare piece and it's highly sought after. But let me show you guys the next coin. So I'll cut this one open as well. This is an 1893S in good four. And so the unique part about these coins is that uh, they were submitted at the same time from the original collector. So they've never been to CAC. Um, and they're really beautiful coins as well. They're not burnt. Um, and if we hold them up together right here, you can tell just by the certi certification numbers, uh, 23 here and 24 here, you could just tell also by the holders that they were submitted at this exact same time and that's pretty unique as well for a resale value and uh, you know the grades are pretty cool too so let's take these two upstairs and I'll show them to you and talk about them more in depth hello everybody this uh, is Drew upstairs, <laughs> uh, showing you guys these awesome coins in hand. Uh, like I said, I got this from a friend. Uh, his name's Tim. Uh, as soon as he got them from the original person that submitted these coins, uh, he asked if I would like them. I paid more than what I would normally pay for uh, a key date. So most of the time I try to stick to gray sheet, or at least under price guide, and I ended up paying more than price guide on these coins and someone would ask why would you do that and so the reason why I do that is because coins like this are extremely rare to find just because of the mintage that they have uh, their collectability and when I go to a show or when I'm uh, looking around on Instagram people say hey you have an 1893s hey I've been looking for 1893s um, and so many collectors, the coin that they're missing for their business strikes um, is the 1893S just because of how expensive it is. And um, this coin, I believe, is very beautiful because uh, it has that natural look to it. Um, people might think it's dipped. I'm not too sure. I, I just don't think it is. But I think it's nice and original. Uh, it doesn't have any, it's not burnt. And look, doesn't look really dark like I was talking about a few videos back. Um, but a coin like this doesn't come by often and so uh, when you're a dealer and you have the money and you have the connection sometimes it's worth to take the risk and buy coins that you really love and this coin I would say I really love and it sucks to see something like this go but I know that it's gonna further uh, my coin my coin business and it's also gonna make uh, a customer very happy as well so I'm just very fortunate all around um, get to handle this this many uh, coins this beautiful amount of coins and um, yeah so let me show you the AG or I'm sorry the G4 so here's the G4 uh, it's got a little bit more detail in the hair on the head um, uh, this coins nice as well um, it's got a few extra marks on the face. You can kind of see this little ding there, but that's common for many um, lower end or lower graded coins. Um, things that they would detail you details grade you for for an unk coin um, is not necessarily the same case for a circulated coin. Um, so there's kind of like light scratches here, but that's mainly from circulation. That's a natural process that these coins went through. But with uh, Scratching that's intense on an unk coin people would say that uh, You know from the mint someone had it they messed with it and then they gave it to you and then you submitted it and so That's uh, it's just something that 
um, you, you can get away with with more of the circulated types of coins and it's something that you should know for when you're grading and sending stuff off for grading. And what I was talking about earlier is that this dealer, I'm not this dealer, but this collector actually sent them in together and you can see that just by the cert numbers. So, you know, they, that one ends in 20, 23, this one ends in 24. And that also adds some value to it just because um, finding coins this rare um, and also being submitted at the same time from the original collector basically makes it extremely rare in my opinion um, just because um, people like that extra aesthetic feel and also they just uh, enjoy knowing that this only came and passed through a few hands and like I said I think in, in, the, uh, in the other part of the video both of these coins haven't been to CAC and haven't uh, been certified by them so these coins might even be gold CAC worthy or even upgradable, who knows. Um, but just a really beautiful set here. And I wanted to close out today's video by showing you guys uh, a key date dime that I picked up recently. Let me zoom in a little bit. And I want to know what your grading thoughts was. So I made uh, a video and a few pictures on Instagram today to try to ask people what their grade thought would be. But if you could in the comments, uh, Use your best guess. Use uh, any trivia you can, you can find. Um, also, PCGS posts a bunch of pictures about uh, the different grades that coins can be. But I really enjoy your opinion on what you think this coin uh, would grade. Um, I'm going to give you my personal guess. Um, I think it's an AG3 to a G4 um, based on my knowledge and what I've seen with 16Ds. Um, but I purchased this coin for around $450, and AG3s on my end are selling for around $650. So uh, if I submit this coin and uh, incurring the cost as well for buying the coin raw, um, this coin is at least $100 in profit if it's an AG3. Uh, um, yeah, if it's an AG3, but if it's a G4, you're looking at some more money. But I think that the obverse is more strong on this coin than the reverse. There's just more meat on the bone. When you start to get kind of this line that normally goes through the mercury dime on the head, that that's kind of screams more of a G4. It's leaning that way. Um, but on the reverse, it's a little bit more worn around the edges, which kind of takes it away from me. You could kind of see America almost completely being faded out here. And that's kind of a, a red flag. And so uh, I think a G3 would be most appropriate. But please let me know in the comments what you believe is the correct grade for this coin. It's a beautiful coin. I'm glad I, I'm glad I'm able to send this one in and see what I can get for it. And just understanding the, the grading process more and knowing it. And so when I pick up another Mercury dime, that's a key date. I can also just say, hey, this is the coin. This is the grade. Um, and it'd be a, a lot easier for me to know things on the spot. So when I buy Mercury dimes, also. I buy uh, a lot of the rare types, so the 16D. Uh, I've been buying 21s and 21Ds, and I've also been buying 42 over 1 and 42 over 1D. Just because they're more collectible, and like I said, they're like the 93S in a lot of a lot of ways because um, people are trying to fill their sets with a coin like this, or um, you know those varieties that uh, 42 over 1, and it's it's something that you should look out for and if you wanted to become a dealer I think these coins will do you a lot of justice but um, let me show you guys uh, these 1893 S's one last time and uh, let me zoom out a little bit let me show you guys these one last time um, I want to thank everybody that watched this video today and I want to thank you for uh, just constantly supporting the channel and uh, Helping me with my coin business either just by liking the video, making a comment, or maybe even purchasing something on uh, my other outlets. Uh, anything that you guys do just means the world to me. And so uh, I want to thank you guys so much for all that you do. I don't think I could have done any of this stuff or received any coins like this without you guys um, just being there along to help me and give me your thoughts and opinions. So I'm really thankful for that and I wanted to make a special note of it. So. Thank you guys for watching this part of the video.
Thank you guys again for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. Uh, I'd really appreciate your comment below about what you think of the 93Ss and what you thought of the 16D Mercury Dime. If you want to see more videos like this, uh, please subscribe and check out our channel for more awesome coin videos. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time.